Welcome to Spotlight Torrance, where we're exploring your city. I'm Christy Wilcox, and today we're at the Torrance Theater Company in downtown Torrance. Now, we're going to explore some of the actors, directors, and people behind the scenes. We're going to take a look at how crazy auditions get for the upcoming production, as well as the current production, Funny Money, a British comedy that will certainly make you laugh. But first, reporter Julie Chan was out to find out what this place is all about. Let's take a look. I love being part of the Torrance team and making the city that much better by having, you know, this for people to come and experience and enjoy. Gia Jordal has been at the helm of the Torrance Theatre Company since 1999. The program is funded by the city and supported by the Friends of Torrance Theatre Company. Patrons and producers appreciate Jordal's familiar face and longtime commitment. It is so wonderful to come in as a director and know that if I have a vision, something I want, they will do everything they can to make that vision come true. Tereso and Jordal are no strangers. They worked together last summer to bring Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory to the Torrance Cultural Arts Center. As an actor, he is back in March to play the lead in A Man of No Importance. Jordal does more than just work with people like Tereso. I read the plays, I, you know, dump the trash, I paint the set, you know, it's, you have to jump in wherever you're needed. Jordahl's dedication to Torrance Theatre Company is recognized by directors and actors alike. This is probably the best theatre company I've ever worked for. I've been doing community theatre since, um, well, since I graduated college, and uh, I did, I did theatre through high school and college as well, but um, community theatre sometimes is a little disorganized, you know, low budgets, not a lot of um, people to do everything. Gia manages to organize this company so well. While productions used to be at various locations in Torrance, including the Nakano Theater, Jordal can help provide a wider variety of theater experiences in the downtown location. Whether the role is a lead role or a chorus role, it doesn't matter because there's so much of a family feel to the ensemble here that you always have a great time, you always work hard, but you work hard together, and then the product is so good, you're very proud of it. So it's an easy thing for me to say yes to something when it's done here. The Torrance Theatre Company made a home for plays three years ago in downtown Torrance. Jordahl has succeeded in making this home inviting to all. Being here in downtown Torrance, where you're so close to restaurants and uh, people can actually walk from their home to dinner, to a show, uh, we've gotten a lot more friends. With a combination of convenience and warmth, the theater has seen growth since its opening. The first year included 150 season ticket holders. The third season has doubled with 300 members. Many more come to watch one of five productions from September to June. It's never knowing and it's being a part of every little thing that happens and being a part of that community of artists kind of bringing it together. But honestly, it's being able to bring theater to this city. Jordahl's passion is infectious. Actors, directors, and patrons enjoy the experience at Torrance Theatre Company. Reporting for Spotlight Torrance, I'm Julie Chan. So we're learning a little bit about the Torrance Theatre Company, and I have Gia Jordahl here, and you're the producer, and you've been around, as we've just learned, since 1999. You're very committed to this. Yes, uh, I am very committed. I've worked for the city since 1998. And then in 99 is when we produced our first show. And it started really with one show, and now in 2014, we're up to six shows a season. That's quite a few to get through. It is, and at some point I lost track of how many it was. It used to be all of our bios would say in the program, this is my 12th show, or this is, I think somewhere around 50. It was like, we get it, we've been here for a while, so yeah. The current production is Funny Money, but talk about some of the past productions that you've had, because there have been plenty. There have been um, a Chris, Christmas Carol, right? You just had Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory this past year, and this is the very first production of this year, correct? This actually, of the calendar year, yes. It's the third show in our season, and it's the first show of 2014. And usually after the holidays, I like to do a comedy because everybody is kind of like worn down and they need a little rejuvenation, so comedy really is the best thing. But we try and do a little bit of everything, um, comedy, musical, drama, obviously. But we like to do some new stuff, but we like to do tried and true. You know, we've done some Neil Simon, Odd Couple, Biloxi Blues. But, you know, we've also done newer pieces like Proof and The Laramie Project, which are a little bit more current for our audiences. But it, it was a process. It was getting them to trust us, you know, by doing some of those tried and true. They believe in the product. Then they're willing to maybe go someplace else with you that they maybe haven't been before. 
Now, things have changed up a little bit in the most recent years because you're in a like a little unique, cozy building here in downtown Torrance, which is really cool. Tell me how it feels to be down here. It's amazing. It's such a great um, place to be. And, you know, the mayor and city council have been so kind of driven to get this um, revitalization of the downtown area. There's so many great restaurants and shops and art um, facilities and things like that down here. So it kind of was a natural fit for us to be a part of that. And the building is amazing and people come here. They, they want to live here. Um, as I do, because it's gorgeous, and it's an 82-year-old building with a gorgeous open exposed wood ceiling and brick, and we have a lot of people that are from the old neighborhood here in Torrance that have become our really, you know, core supporters, so. Yeah, and that's amazing that you get support from so many different people, and there was quite a crowd in here that came in here tonight. We're going to see a little bit about Funny Money lately, uh, later, however, after this break, we're going to talk a bit about auditions, because you're auditioning for... The upcoming production never stops yeah once we open one show usually the very next day it's all about auditions and on to the next okay so more about that after this break here we are 2013 we all depend on technology to communicate to bank and none of us know how to read and write code the first program I wrote asked uh, things like what's your favorite color or how old are you I wrote a program to play tic-tac-toe. I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. You're just trying to make something, trying to transfer something from your mind to the computer or to, to a tablet. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's an experience. The whole limit in the system is just that there just aren't enough people who are trained and have these skills today. The programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're going to look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. Great coders are today's rock stars. That's it. Welcome back to Spotlight Torrance. Now I'm here with Gia Jordell, who has been the producer here at the Torrance Theater Company for an extremely long time, <laughs> 1999. Now, talking about auditions, you have a new audition for the next play coming up. Tell me a little bit about that. So the next show that's coming up is a musical and it's called A Man of No Importance, and it is a relatively new musical. Uh, in early part of um, like 2000, I think it was 2003, um, around that, it, it was at the Lincoln Center, and it's a musical written by the two gentlemen that are responsible for uh, the music in Ragtime. Is it more difficult? I mean, we have a comedy going on now, the, the Funny Money comedy, um, but this musical, I mean, it takes a different kind of talent to come in as well to do something of, of that nature. Yeah, it, it does. It, a lot of times the actors just act and singers just sing and sometimes there's in between. There's one gentleman that's in this show, David McGee, who has also uh, now been cast in A Man of No Importance. So he's one of those people that, that kind of does it all, acts and sings and dances and we're very lucky to have him. But it is kind of different and it's a different mindset for us too. Doing a comedy and, and just the requirements of the comedy in the set are going to be different than having live musicians in the space and, and how do we fit that and how do we fit a big cast. This is eight people, the next show is going to be 17. It's a small theater so you know there are challenges immediately that we have to address to kind of make it what we want it to be, polished, professional, you know, something that the audiences will really enjoy. All right, well it's a it's a cozy spot in there. I really, I really enjoyed it. But first, let's take a look at the, these uh, auditions. Must be nerve wracking for some of these people. I can't imagine what they go through. Let's check out the audition. Here we are at Torrance Theater, where patrons have been entertained since 2011. Tonight, we are taking a sneak peek into auditions of an upcoming production. This is only a sketch. I can't tell you how excited I am that I have so many choices, because that doesn't always happen. Glenn Kelman has been a director for over 25 years. Tonight is the callbacks for the upcoming play at the Torrance Theatre Company called A Man of No Importance. And Kelman has his work cut out for him. The important qualities of 
a director is to have empathy, being able to live the moment with the actor so he understands what they're feeling and where they're coming from. Those auditioning tonight say Kelman has been warm and welcoming, yet the process is nerve-wracking no matter what. You know, you're always nervous. Even, though, even if you've been doing it for 30 years, you're always nervous at an audition. And while McGee is in Funny Money, the current play at Torrance Theatre, he is never certain whether he will be chosen for a part in the next play. I try to let them convince me that they are exactly the one I need. Kelman looks down as he is listening for qualities that come out, rather than judging hopefuls on their look. We have people audition that live down the street, literally, on Cab Cabrillo Avenue, but we have people audition from as far away as La Crescenta. Although some auditions take more time than others, Kelman plans to make the final decision after tonight, which is the second audition for these people. My favorite part is watching the actors become victorious, watching them grow, watching them get to a point where they didn't think they could wring that, that emotional moment out of a scene and having them truly experience that victory. Ultimately, the decision for Kelman is choosing a cast who has good chemistry. Since A Man of No Importance opens at the Torrance Theatre Company in March, Kelman and the cast have only six weeks to bring the play to life. Reporting for Spotlight Torrance, I'm Julie Chan. All I know is I would be shaking in my boots <laughs> in front of the director <laughs> if I had to audition for one of these things. I'm just glad that, like, word for the camera, but the, the people watching are like, you know, <laughs> I would be really nervous. So, um, along with the auditions, obviously, you have to decide which plays are going to be shown in here. How do you make that decision? You know, I read a lot of plays. I go see plays when I can, uh, when I'm not here. And sometimes directors, maybe that I'm interested in working with or have worked with, they will come to me with suggestions of things they've seen or things they've always wanted to do. Yeah, I can imagine, and some of the directors are fairly well known. Yeah, you know, we've, we've had people, much like our actors too, just because somebody isn't, you know, on Broadway right now doesn't mean they haven't done Broadway things. We had a choreographer that did Fiddler on the Roof with us, who was one of the original dancers with Jerome Robbins on Broadway, came in, taught the original Jerome, Jerome Robbins choreography, and our community members got to work with somebody that's one step removed from Jerome Robbins and some of those great choreographers, you know, who aren't with us anymore. So it was a really great experience. We have people that, you know, have worked for Disney, that, that do work for Disney, mm -hmm. um, people that have done stuff in regional and on tour, a little bit of everything, but that doesn't mean that there's not room for somebody that is not that person, okay. that is a mom, or you know, that always wanted to do a show and audition. There's room for that as well. That was what, what I was going to ask because Jennifer, one of the people acting in, in today's play, um, she had studied a long time ago but then decided that she was going to come back and try it again and she's doing a spectacle. Yeah. It's just a great job in there and what do you tell people who are nervous about coming in and maybe don't have the background that other people do? Um, if you've got a passion and a desire to try it, I always say, you know, go for it. We're not going to bite your head off. We're, we're not mean, evil people. Um, I say, come in, give us a try. Sometimes the easiest way for people to get involved, behind the scenes, volunteer to be on a crew or volunteer to come in and help paint. Meet the people, feel comfortable, be in the space, and then the next thing you know, maybe you're going to try an audition for a small part and then a bigger part. But um, Really, in this theater community, there are a lot of different people with a lot of different backgrounds and experiences, and together it's just a really amazing group and a kind group. Now, one of the other things that I want to address, and probably the last thing um, that I think is really important, is you have been building quite a subscription or quite a membership mm -hmm. of people that come in here, and with such a small, you know, small little cozy theater, it was like, what, 150, and now you're up to 300? Mm -hmm. It's funny, because people always say, I had no idea Torrance had a theater company. We get that a lot, you know, and we like to say we're the best kept secret in the South Bay, but when people find us, they're telling their friends, and... You know, right now, we have 350 seats available for every production that we do. And almost half of that has gone to our season subscribers, people that come back year after year to every single show. So we want to do right by them. We're grateful for them. We wouldn't be here without them. And there's room for more. <laughs> well, Gia, it was great talking to you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you so much. Stick around. After the break, we're going to check out this show, Funny Money. Parents sure have their hands full and they could use an extra hand. 
Now, every state offers free or low-cost health insurance for your sports hero or budding artist. Kids up to age 19 can get checkups, doctor and dentist visits, hospital care, prescriptions, and more. Your child may...